Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the X-Play Fans channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Runestone Keeper. It's coming out on the Xbox One. It's a kind of roguelike, dungeon crawler, tile-based kind of game uh, where not very much carries over from one run to the next. You keep your gold, keep your ruins, hence the name Ruin Keeper. And you kind of Ruin Stone Keeper. You kind of stack them up for your next run, all that kind of stuff. First, I'm going to show you the kind of upgrade thing they have going on. At the end of the game, when you die, you keep your money, and you can actually invest it in either your next run, or you can invest it in long-term perks, such as when you pick up a heart, it gives you more health, more experience points from fallen monsters, or let's say you want to have cheaper pr uh, prices at the store, sell points, which I'll explain later, or uh, don't cost as much on items to use. So when you start, you're gonna go over to this menu and you can pick your character. Right now I've only unlocked Guy, but you have everyone with different abilities, different skills, and different ways to recover them. I have no idea what PBS means. Maybe it's the money, uh, no idea. So this guy's the only one I have unlocked. I've gotten pretty far with him, probably about seven levels in. Uh, here you get uh, these kind of like, like, Ruin words, I think, which will allow you to do like difficulty modifier. They're essentially skulls from Halo. Halo did it first. Right now, I don't actually have the ruin to activate it in the bottom right there. God statues, let's say you're going through a dungeon, you find a statue you can pray to, and it becomes your god. You can pay to have it activated, and it'll give you a benefit with, of course, its own little drawbacks. This one is the god of war. Every time you enter a, a, a dungeon, a new dungeon, you get plus one to attack your physical attacks, but this will make you lose mana when revealing a tile. It also removes one strength and one intelligence. Items, you can actually pick an item you want to start with. These are actually randomized in every dungeon. I don't have enough money to do anything. And of course you have your difficulty mode. I'm going to stick with normal just so I can show off the game to you guys. So all the tile, all the dungeons are randomized and I'll explain to you as we go and all that fun stuff. I'm actually kind of digging this game kind of low-key it's got some pretty laid-back music not many games have music that i would just kind of sit and listen to this has got kind of like ambient kind of chill music uh on your right you can see my information bar the big old red bar of course is my health next to it is my soul points which are used to use items and some items actually give you a benefit with the more soul points you get you get more points for revealing mist tiles Blue is mana, which is actually used by my character to use his shout, which was this one will give me more attack or reduces the attack of other creatures. The sword is actually my physical damage. The shield is actually a barrier between my health and the enemy's damage. Top, you have your money, your keys, and actually the sword actually allows you to switch kind of setups of items and everything you have. Hitting start will bring up your menu, your bag, course your bag it shows your attributes on the right here hero status you can check your tattoos attributes uh your belief in your god of war all that kind of fun stuff so here i am right in the middle right here around me are mist tiles which are not revealed yet i don't know what's on them i know that i can't explore them though so we're gonna go through as you see i revealed a tile i got a soul point and every time i reveal a tile i get a soul point soul point so actually, this is a great example. Right there on the, is an enemy. It's a ghost. I can actually hit Y on it, and it gives me all the information about it. So this one actually has, when it dies, it drops mana. That's how you recover mana in this game. There's a half a chance to uh, dodge normal attack. Uh, and every revealed tile reduces its dodge chance. So right now, since I revealed this many tiles, one, two, three, and four, it has a dodge chance of 46%. Normally, as you can see down there, it says it has seven attack, eight hearts. Sometimes in the upper right will actually have shields. Right now, I've actually revealed a, cro a ballista, which I can actually use fire. I don't even have to worry about attacking him. So he drops the goodies, dropped a hood, I equipped that. But this is mostly what the game is. You're just revealing tiles, running around. Actually, I've actually encountered an item before that will allow me to use this ballista to... Uh, re reused. So we're gonna go and beat on him, kill him, 
take his goodies. So actually he dropped a new item that I might want to use. So let's see. So this this new one right here actually has a, is a lot better. I'm gonna equip that and we're gonna keep moving. So for uh, some levels, you'll encounter enemies that you actually have to kill to go past, uh, actually. So turns a non-elite enemy to a, to a pile of gold. So if I found an enemy that's like not holding a key, I could just turn him into a pile of gold. Uh, scattered around our hearts, the ones I actually get do extra damage or extra healing because I have that perk. That was a bomb that actually reveals tiles around it and blows them up. And it will set off other bombs in the area. So you got a zombie here. So since there's a ballista there, any enemies in this line, and it's not just the first enemy, it's any enemies, will take damage and I get health. So I can go all the way back over here. Uh, this game does play with the D-pad, which I've been using. So there's nothing here. Those are the stairs down. But if I go around and kill everyone, I'll actually get some extra goodies. Uh, of course, he's in the very last spot. So since he is dead, I can pick a reward. I'm going to pick gold because I don't really need the health, and the health doesn't really help me if I die, which is kind of a dumb way of saying it, but the gold does help me since it'll stick with me. Kind of poke on around and so you see how that actually revealed all the tiles and blew out the ground so right now i actually have full soul points which is good if i've used an item that uh does something so that's actually great if i'm following a boss and i have really really low health so i pop that and i get three free attacks what do you do? Remove the hidden trap. So that's good, I guess. Which doesn't really matter because I kind of botched that anyways. I've mostly been killing everything because experience points, sometimes they'll drop goodies. And if you kill everything at the end of, uh, uh, you get kind of like, hey, you've gotten a reward for this. I've encountered like mini missions that have like little text trees and stuff kind of like that. One of them was to kill everyone in this area. Oh, hey, you kind of, that didn't kind of didn't work out. So here I actually have ruins and since I have a God, I can inscribe ruins onto my body. This one in particular is, oh, hey, when you kill someone, you get a life back. So I'm gonna, so there's actually no reason to do that because I'm an idiot, but I need to find the exit here which looks like it's gonna be down in this corner of course second to last tile isn't that how it works out but uh this game's got nothing like crazy different about it it's fairly low key leveled up gonna put some more melee damage so i have gotten a sword we're gonna go over here so versus the other sword it has the same damage but this one actually has armor penetration and it does like when it's when the enemy's revealed i actually do three damage to it so it's actually better than what i have i believe you can go over your maximum health see how it did a like since i revealed him i didn't take damage but he did so we're gonna beat him up keep moving out so it's, it's essentially first strike if you're kind of familiar with that kind of terminology so that's a uh item shop i don't really need anything here so let's see i have leather armor which is 14 so i definitely want to get that leather armor oops and we're going to sell all these other things get some money because that same money will carry with me onwards so that's the ring of war that's from my god so so while i am get have slightly less like intelligence and everything i'm doing like a, just a ton more damage for any every area so i'm gonna actually avoid that fight just 
pop him quickly. Uh, these fall away tiles mean that if I haven't explored a tile like that adjacent to the other tile, I can't kind of check it out. And of course, I'm running into all the traps right now. I tend to pick up everything just so I can sell it. So max life. I'm gonna use that one just so I can stack the deck for health. So see, even though he's all the way over there, I'm gonna fire this crossbow, boom, done. And before we leave, we're gonna sell all my goodies and we're gonna move to the next level. But that's a Runestone Keeper. Uh, it is out now on the X on the Xbox. I am Zero JD. This was the XBlade Fans Channel. I'm digging this game. If you're interested in it, pick it on up. Uh, this was the XBlade Fans Channel. Please check out our other videos below, to the right, if you're watching it in window mode. Anyways, have a nice day. Thank you for watching this video. Enjoy your day.